What is up guys, back in today with another reaction to My Hero Academia, this time of Season 7, Episode 7. Uh, super excited for today. Um, just want to make a point of, uh, it might seem out of nowhere, but um, I always see so much hate for My Hero Academia online. It's actually quite crazy. Um, I think people still think about Season 5, but um, if any of you guys see that, I think you've just got to think of these people like they they haven't watched the last two seasons <laughs> they really haven't because this season uh, last season was fantastic and the start of this season has been absolutely amazing as well uh, another banger episode last time out with uh, the fight finally starting but well, I say finally starting it's actually started a lot earlier than I thought it would but Again, looking forward to seeing what we're going to cover today. Uh, do let me know what you guys think about this episode though down in the comment section. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys do like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions. Uh, I wasn't all the, like, I always liked my hero, but I, I wasn't the biggest fan or anything. And uh, I could agree with a lot of the complaints people had before season five. I still, I don't like season five personally for the second half because the second half was boring. But like I said, I feel like people who hate on it haven't actually watched past that plus of course we've always got to say plus in English but yeah honestly you just gotta got ignore all that stuff because yeah Also, respect to uh, the Phantom Thief last episode, definitely the MVP, wasn't he? Although it doesn't bode well for him. <laughs> Being the MVP in a fight like this, at the start especially, is not good for you. Back to my most dangerous position. <laughs> pulling the strings, baby. <laughs> I'm pulling the strings. He has got an amazing quirk, hasn't he? Mon mon mono is it mon monoma. That's the one. <laughs> I always want to say monoma, um, because in shows like Hunter Hunter and, and stuff, like people with copy abilities, usually some of the like best, strongest characters in the series. The sea guys and out oh, these yep yeah. <laughs> the side the side side characters right there um with that one with gang orca does he have a son i had no idea about that one of those guys looked like his son But yeah, the one after them, literally, like, the characters, no one cares about. Second decisive battle. We'll uh, just skip the opening quickly uh, for copyright purposes. But, um, yeah, it's quite funny, honestly, isn't it? The fact that they just... Oh, these side side characters that no one really cares about yeah we'll just, we'll just put put them at the end there <laughs> uh, maybe they might get some uh, a decent segment i imagine they will 
considering we're near the end game now. Um, very clear as to which which of these groups I care the least about. <laughs> You gotta adapt, bro. You gotta adapt. Slapped with fingers. Fingers on fingers <laughs> on fingers. What is it then? Oh. <laughs> I hope not. I can't understand, no. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Oh shit, that's game marker. Got some fully customizable options. John, oh, these two probably get along quite well. <laughs> No, again, like how how like we saw it growing throughout the episodes, but what is it? Like again, it's not a quirk, but how how do you deform like that? I can understand start certain kind of evolutionary changes to kind of your body deal with quirks, but a whole fucking million odd fingers. Yeah, totally fucked. Also, though, surely, like at some point, this whole place is just going to be full of fingers. They're just infinitely multiplying. There won't be any space left here. It'll just be f literally full up of fingers. What a horrible way to go that would be. Inflation. What is that guy in the bottom right's quirk? I'm not sure. I've, I, I I definitely don't remember, but I'm not sure we've even actually seen much of him. The kind of quite sharp looking guy. I've always been quite interested. And you know, I assumed he had like some like dragon quirk or something. Because he, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> don't know why I thought that. Again, is that his son? Oh, he's got loads of these guys, actually. My bad. <laughs> That's just his quirk, actually, isn't it, I think. Is that his quirk? I don't know. Again, it's, it's been a while. When was the last time we saw Gang Orca in action? It must have been, like, season four or three. Four, I think. Yeah, we have seen that one before, haven't we? That's a nasty quirk.
Ah, what is going on with that? Is it because of that love? Like she actually like is it she's like she's that crazy <laughs> she actually does intend no harm. Oh, you can't be saying that in front of Uraraka. Yeah, she's that much of a sadist, bro. It just like, I guess, yeah, <laughs> she's like the perfect counter to our danger sense. It's annoying. Uh, that was, uh, I saw a few people questioning that last week about why the hell danger sense didn't activate. I don't really question it until like you see you see why. He has. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If she says that, I think she means dead. She wants you dead. Kind of is, isn't it? Consi which is funny, considering like she's very much not the most powerful character in the show whatsoever. She's actually a very good matchup. Just so fucked up because that's like the complete opposite of the feelings Toga has. You just thought about her. <laughs> uh, her being the same as your parents. Again, yeah. can understand where she's coming from to an extent, away from like the sadism stuff. Can understand how she got here, Miss Toga. Yeah. 
通りにこなしにとは結局のところをリアリティを中心に私たちで型をつけますセク君ベッカーのガーラクシュン Okay. And she's now got her Araka's blood. I'm not sure. I think she had her Araka's blood before, though, right? Or am I tripping? No, she definitely did. Yeah, I remember now. Previous season. Yeah, it makes total sense that actually put her on this kind of waterbed, Toga, but. They've both got really good plans for each other, the villains and the heroes of this situation. Yeah, I think it's going to come down to who's best adapt, to be fair, isn't it? And the villains have been adapting pretty damn well so far. <laughs> A precious secret. Okay. <laughs> Go on. I I'm looking forward to this to um Uraka and Toga fight a lot, but this is definitely one of one of the most looking forward to right here. This one's been building and building for ages. Dabby versus uh Toto. The Toto Rockies. Gonna overheat. <laughs> That's a pretty bad matchup actually, isn't it? Okay. 
俺自身がお前を止めたいと思ったから立ってるんだそれってお父さんの思い通りの困ってことじゃお前を無視してヒーローを続けるってのはどうなるそうだよな結局この戦争は I won't lie, I did that, I did actually, I do know these guys are not gonna fight today I did see a I think it was like a preview image of these guys going at it. I saw it on Twitter just before the episode released. Yeah, that, that hyped me up even more for this. Uh, I felt like an incredibly quick episode. <laughs> I think it's because we had the opening a little bit later than usual. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I will w watch the preview real quick. But um, yeah, as I said, I did see, uh, I did actually see a preview uh, image for Dabby versus Shoto on Twitter. And it looked great. Ooh. Yeah, Dabby's looking real fucked up. I, I don't know if that was, I don't know if that was just like a me thing or not, but I did notice that, especially the. So, I, I I don't really like. I, I'm not, not. I don't majorly focus on Dabby's face or anything anyway, but I feel like like that wasn't there before. This like skin that seems to be like coming apart. It looks like a zombie. It looks like Tarhead. From uh, Return of the Living Dead, if any of you guys have seen that movie, which I, I doubt <laughs> that many of you have, but if you're a fan of horror movies, definitely go watch it. One of the best zombie movies. Um, yeah, he look, he look, he's getting even more kind of. Uh, he's yeah, he's just like getting even more burnt and fucked up, isn't he? Like Jesus Christ, he's gonna his his whole his whole body's gonna look like this. We did uh, we did see something interesting in that regard, though, didn't we? Right here. Shoto using the the heist and the hot right there, <laughs> the cold and the hot it looks like in the blast. Yeah, what is this then? Is that, is that like in these burns intensifying even more, getting even blacker? I feel like this, like this and the statue of um, All Might, definitely kind of mean something. If you know what I'm saying, I feel like if this statue of All Might is like fully burnt away. And show Owen uh, the heroes probably lose, for example. But as long as it's still standing there in some regard, got a chance. Yeah, look at that shot right there. I love that. Again, looks like something from a, a zombie movie, <laughs> honestly. And he's still got a little bit of a uh, little bit of skin left on his chest, but um, yeah, that is quite terrifying, that isn't it? Two flash fights. And it looks like that is going to be the major focus. I did, I did kind of again. I did kind of think that would be the case from the uh, preview image I did see on Twitter uh, that next week would mainly focus on this fight. But um, yeah, super excited for that. Oh shit, I forgot to turn out. Uh, it's not that big a deal, but <laughs> um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, do let me know what you guys thought about this episode down in the comment section. Again, a fantastic episode. Uh, I felt like we covered quite a lot today. Uh, we didn't see too much of the Shigaraki fight. A few areas again. The, the whole. Uh, crappy side characters that I talked about. We haven't seen anything from them so far. And honestly, I, I, I wouldn't be mad if we didn't see anything from them, uh, to be honest with you guys. Can't remember actually what they're even like doing, but um, yeah, I really enjoyed this Toga segment we had with Araka and uh, my, um, and my hero, <laughs> uh, with uh, Deku and uh, Uraka versus Toga. I thought that was fantastic. Uh, just the way that, again, she like perfectly counters him, I think is actually very ironic and quite funny. Um, but looking forward to seeing the girls fight uh, for their love, <laughs> in a way. Uh, should be a lot of fun. Um, and again, especially looking forward to this uh, Shoto versus Dabby fight. Uh, do let me know what you guys think about this episode. Again, though, down in the comment section. Leave a like on the video if you guys would like, and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date. I'll be back next week with what is sure to be a banger episode, so hopefully I'll see you then. And have a good rest of your day, guys.